All right, after we've got our posts made up, we lay them all out. Uh, we've done this layout off of a laser benchmark, and then we just roll out all of our girts, fasten them all to the post where we like it. We leave a splice joint through the middle, but we fasten it temporarily just to make sure everything is perfect. And then we basically will pull that joint apart, bring in the telehandler for easy lifting, and we can put up about 56 foot of wall at one time. That's about the most we like to do. Um, but it's pretty effortless with the sky track. So we just stand it up, bolt it into the brackets level, stand up the next one, weave it in, bolt it in, and uh, that's basically an 88 foot wall pretty quick. So then we head on to an end wall, lay those out, same exact way, really not a lot of rocket science to it. As long as you got all your marks right, it goes up pretty easy. Stand it up again, and then you tie it in with the corner post and the pieces we couldn't do on the ground. So that's what we're doing here. On to the next end wall. So um, this is all taking place in uh, less than a full day, but this is basically the fun part of the day is standing up walls. So um, lay out our next end wall. You just seen Greg run a tape, make sure it's all about where we want it, squared up. Uh, the, the Fasco Jumbo Nailer, it makes quick work of nailing these walls off, and it shoots up to a six inch nail, so it's pretty awesome. Here we go. Get all the bolts through. Down at the post bases. These are made by Midwest Permacolum. They're engineered. They're awesome. Super strong. Uh, and then we just basically come through and uh, attach the pieces that we couldn't do off the ground. And that's about it. So um, the best part of my day is framing up the walls.